You're very welcome back. Now, we all know Ross O'Carroll Kelly, the fictional rugby playing South Dublin snob. Well, Ross must be spinning in his dupes as he's getting, <laughs> that was my best impression, getting a run for his money from a new North side star. Yeah, one Nikita <laughs> is a spice bag eating, I like centre word and stun home with the sharpest tongue and kulak if you cross or you ticks. That was good, wasn't it? That was really good. <laughs> Her creator, Aoife Dooley, joins us now. Aoife, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so tell us all about this creation. First of all, you're a Kulak native. Yeah, yeah. As am I. Yeah. Yeah. Kulak Aww, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us about this this woman who's come into your life. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it kind of happened randomly. Like, I'd been working, uh, basically my work around the north side since I started college, basically, in 2009. And then, um, yeah, it was only really... Last year, I kind of really honed in on a, a specific area of it. Mm. And then uh, basically, yeah, like it was, I met my boyfriend in 2011. So it's kind of uh, loosely based on like his family, his cousins, people like now and myself oh, as well. Oh, so, I'd say yeah. that thrilled with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's sitting out right there, he looks nervous, yeah. nervous, nervous. Don't be worrying. You'll be fine. <laughs> um, the book itself is brilliant. I had a good read of it. I, I took it home, actually, and, and enjoyed yeah. certain aspects of it. But I have to talk about the fashion, because that really is what it's about. The yeah. hon bon. The hon bon. Yeah. Yeah, how to be massive. I'd never heard of a hon bon. What's I a hon bon? No. It's just, a, it's just a bon, like, uh, on your head, you know? Like, you just tie it up and... Uh, there's a whole chapter. Actually, there's a whole diagram on how to do a hon yeah, bon. That's, yeah, there's a diagram there. So, basically, it's just, you know... Tells you everything you need to know about doing a home bun, and then it has other bits in it as well, like I've where it tells you what to hide in it, like so, like hiding <laughs> oh, the remote control for the telly, like so, uh, <laughs> where uh, pox of a fella can't watch uh, the match, <laughs> so that kind of stuff as well. It's good tips in it. I love the fact that uh, you've had endorsements on the book already, like Roddy Doyle just absolutely yeah, raved about it. Yeah, it's mad. Like it's, I, I actually can't believe that. Like he's, uh, yeah, like even the fact that like I, I got to meet him was everything. Like it was just. It's mad, like, and the fact that he read the book and he liked it, like, that was, like, that was such a big deal for me, like, you know. Well, I mean, not only did yeah. he like it, he described it as funny, affectionate and very, very mm. sharp. It's almost social history and always great fun. Yeah. This book is massive. Yeah, <laughs> it is massive. Yeah. Where did the idea come from, though? I mean, I know it was family and friends, but you've got to have kind of an initiation point. Um, well, I kind of always was interested in, uh, like, people watching. I know that sounds kind of creepy, but, like... Uh, no, but everybody yeah, does yeah, it, everybody yeah, does right? It. Yeah. Everybody yeah. does yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. even when I was a kid, like, I, I made, like, a... Mm. Uh, I used to make books out of like just copies that you'd bring to school, like, and I'd kind of I'd have them, and they'd be called Aoife's people, and like they'd be literally just cut out of magazines of like people I'd see outside, and kind of just make collages of them. When so I was a kid. That's all. So it's, the so it's always yeah, so it's yeah. always like I've always been interested in that, and then I just kind of um, they got really proud of where I'm from, like, and I think there's like yeah, certain aspects girl. of it that are kind of you know like. I think, like, just I just love like like all the characters around where I'm from, and then like, uh, like basically like, my friends I would have grown up with, like, and then my boyfriend's family, like, I just think it's, I don't know, like, it's a, uh, it's just, like, just it's part, it's part of what I do. It's like basically everything, like, it's all over my work. Like, yeah. I love like the north side. It's that's yeah. I live and read it. So DNS, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah Do you know what's brilliant though is the hangover page because oh, yeah. everybody <laughs> can relate to yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, you have your crisps in there, you have your spice burger in there, you yeah. have your everything. Talk us through that one. I mean, that's an easy one to come up with, surely. Yeah, yeah. 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 So like, um, that's kind of. Um, yeah, so there's a few things in there, like, um, there's a few tips, basically, like, when you have a really bad hangover, like, but I just took it from things I do when I have a hangover. So <laughs> sometimes if I wake up and I have a really bad headache or just get, like, leggings and just tie them around my head, like, in a knot, and just go back to sleep. And it just kind of like gets rid of your headache, and you just you just wake up fresh. Then you just wake up and go, oh, I've never even had a headache. Like that was it was great. Like, <laughs> what headache? Yeah, what headache? Exactly. Why have I got a pair of tights on my head? I've wrapped leggings around my head. Yeah, my you just life. tie it in a big knot, like, just, you know. Tip. Yeah, <laughs> it gets rid of your headache. Like. What, what about fellas that they know that you like them or you like them? What's the story? Oh yeah, there? like there's a, a few bits and pieces in there. Like so, there's like how you know if there's a, a fake uh, a Tinder <laughs> how profile. You know he's but, the um, one. Yeah, this is how you know is the one. Uh, that'd be like kind of uh, loosely based on my boyfriend as well. You can see <laughs> he's wearing a hat. Yeah. Stand up there for a minute. Stand <laughs> up there to get a look at you. He's yeah, got yeah. a baseball. He's got the hat. Yeah. yeah. Then, so, come on. Um, <laughs> now you're all right. right. Now you're all right. <laughs> So I just have, um, yeah, just have a few like that. That diagram is a kind of yeah, massive like, gold chain. Yeah, it's massive gold chain. Yeah, I, lo I love the arms. Massive, name. strong arms for carting me home. Yeah, and then it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cleans his runners daily. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, and the tattoo he loves his ma. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, his uh, hands are always roasting because um, <laughs> uh, 
Balls are like like nature's a <laughs> nature's a radiator's a. It actually looks like your boyfriend in the set without obviously where the hand is, but the, the hat is on today yeah, as well. Yeah. Fair play. He's a dead ringer. I love the tattoo of you as our name. He's our name. When we're spelled right, it's yeah, optional. Yeah, optional, yeah. And then the other one crossed out like the X's. But it's all colloquial. It's exactly as you would say it and yeah. as you yeah, hear as it. You'd say it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And what are the plans in terms of is there another book in there for her, or um, has yeah, the television come calling yet? Um, not yet, like, <clears> um, but uh, there's definitely another book in there, but um, I don't know what it is just yet. Like, I have to kind of uh, get the thinking out on. And you know, what, one thing that always up. fascinates mm. me in talking to authors and people who've written books is is about the actual writing process. So yeah. that day when you thought, right, I'm going to write a book about this. How did you start and, and how did you approach the writing process of it? Did you set, say, I'm going to write two hours a day, three hours a day, or did you just get, go for it? I'll tell you something funny, Simon, because when I went in and I sent over the publisher the first few pages of the book, um, i just done diagrams like the one that you just seen on oh, the really? screen there. Yeah, and uh, the editor turned around and goes, where's the words? And I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, it's a book. And I was like, oh, actually, yeah, like, maybe I should write something then. So it was only kind of like, literally, as I got the deal then, I was like, all right, um, I have to write for this. And that was daunting, because I've never, like, I, I would write, like, my work, but, like, not to that extent. So it was kind of, it was scary at first, kind of trying to, like, get into that. Like, it was, it's completely different. And did you, you know? draw all the pictures that are in the book? That's yeah. your drawing. Yeah, okay, so, so written it's and like, illustrated. It's like yeah. Pictionary, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you're just having fun. And then uh, kind of alluding to different aspects that you've, I suppose, experienced over the last while. Yeah, the yeah. taxi driver segment is very funny as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think every taxi man in Dublin probably knows me at this stage. Every time I get in the car, they're like, oh, yeah, I'd just be chatting about myself. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those nine people. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, it's, um, I love it. Yeah. It's really good. It. It's really unique idea as well. I've never seen it. Well, I think, like I, as you said in the introduction, like, you know, Ross O'Carroll Kelly, you know, mm. is the, the almost cartoonish rip of the South Side. Yeah. Yeah, South yeah. Sider. This is the North Side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, you, you mentioned the the Isle accent are wearing, because let's be honest, if you go up and down Henry Street, you'll bump into them. Yeah, yeah. I will look like, that's, and the pajamas. Yeah. So I, was, I wear my pajamas out as well. I'm going to the shop. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, now, no. I'm more of a tomboy now, so it's kind of, <clears> I don't have the bun. I used to have a bun, but, like, my hair isn't there. Uh, there's this, there's this, like, you know, thing in my family where we just have, like, the worst hair, like, so uh, it's a short. <laughs> hang on, can we talk about the pyjamas? Have you ever worn them out? Yeah. Where? Yeah. What does the, the shops? Shop? OK, yeah, but not out, as in out, out. Oh, well, I have. Well, in you the wouldn't book, wear them crystal, like, like, you know yeah, what well, I mean? You have your going out, you have your staying in pyjamas yeah. and, and you're going, going out. out pyjamas. Yeah, but, like, you know, yeah. your going out pyjamas are your... Pajamas that like you'd wear to the shop though, like are they yeah. different? Kind of, more like, like if you're going glittery. to do your weekly in Tesco, like you put on your going out pajamas. Ah, yeah, no, you, you know, wouldn't wear your day to day. I need to get oh. in on this. I yeah. need to get Thank in you. on this next week. I'll be in yeah. pajamas. Thank you so much for Thanks. coming in. Uh, Thanks. Thanks so Big much. up to Kulak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs>